you and your students will access the new Collaborate the same way you access the old Collaborate, through tools, through a link in a content space, or through a link on the course menu. While the old Collaborate allowed you to schedule sessions, the new version just uses one room for all sessions. You can edit the room to rename the room uh, or change access permissions, such as letting all of the participants enter as moderators, giving them access, immediate access to all the instructor level controls. You can also add a link to the room to any of the areas of your course. Just select the area where you'd like the link to go and you can set some options. You can also invite guests to your session using the URL here to email out to folks and you can even have the email go out right through Blackboard. To get started using the new Collaborate, just click Join Room. Students will be prompted to enter a name in the first screen every time they join the room. Uh, but as a moderator, it'll automatically pull in your name information from Blackboard. You'll notice that Collaborate launches in your browser window, not in a separate Java app. As a result, it loads a lot more quickly. If this was my first time launching Collaborate, it would walk me through a setup process. If I need to change my settings, uh, I can just click on my profile image here, and that pops out this little window where I can change my audio video settings, run my setup, change the volume controls. Uh, I can also change my notification settings to get a visual or and or audio notification when someone enters or leaves the room, uh, post a chat message and so on. And then I can also set myself from pres to present or away. Uh, and I can, here you see I've added a picture of myself, I can uh, drag in a picture from my computer or I can capture a picture from my camera if I'm using the Chrome browser. Uh, running along the controls at the bottom here, I have the control to share my audio out to the room or not, share my video out to the room, if I'd like. I or students can raise or lower my hand. Uh, I can do a little chat. Uh, I can view the participants list or the roster. Uh, and from here, I can make a moderator, make a presenter, make a captioner, which lets the person type what I'm saying and have it appear on the screen. Uh, or I can kick folks out of the session. And then under more tools, I can start recording the session. And I can change the session settings, such as allowing the participants to share their audio, share their video, post chat messages, and or draw on the whiteboard. And you see I've got three participants in the room, Mr. Cressy, Linda, and Nathan, who was logged in earlier. That's why he's got number two. Uh, and I can change the uh, presentation style. The default, it just shows the little icons. Uh, but if I switch to follow, uh, it's going to show the person who is leading or speaking at the moment is going to have the most prominent uh, picture. You see now Nathan's got his webcam on and I see a nice big picture of Nathan uh, sitting at his desk. Okay, thanks Nathan, you can shut your camera off now. <laughs> uh, the other controls, I can share content. So I can switch over to a whiteboard, uh, which has all of the whiteboard tools that you would expect. I can share files. Uh, so by uh, through this space I can upload a PowerPoint. Uh, 
uh, and then share this out to the room. And now I can step through the PowerPoint. And because it's on the whiteboard, just like with the previous version, I can pick a color and uh, do some underlining, that sort of thing. This version also allows me to share PDF files. So if I wanted to show a document, I can just share out a PowerPoint. The last sharing option is share application. If you're using the Google Chrome browser, you can share uh, an application out to the class. It doesn't work in um, other browsers as the instructor, but if the participants are using um, Internet Explorer or Firefox or Edge or, or whatever web browser, they'll still be able to view the content that I, I put up through the share. Um, they just can't share themselves. We have found that the new version of Collaborate does have a few more features and it runs a little more smoothly if you're using uh, Chrome rather than uh, Internet Explorer or uh, Firefox, uh, but it still works just fine using the other browsers, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem for folks uh, who just want to use whatever they're comfortable with. It should still work. That's the feature set of the new uh, Collaborate. If it's something that you think that you might be interested in using, um, please contact the Instructional Design Studio and we can add it to one of your, your courses or all of your courses if you'd like. Uh, you should know that once you switch over, uh, you can't be using both side by side. You either use one or the other. Uh, recordings, if you have recordings using the current or old Collaborate in your course, uh, those recordings will still be available if you switch over to the new Collaborate. Um, and new Collaborate recordings do show up like they do in the other one, except they're only available as MP4 videos. They're not, they don't relaunch in a player or anything like that. If you have any questions, please contact the Instructional Design Studio. We'd be glad to help you out.